Good morning. Welcome to Friday. We made it. This is Morning Reflections with Raising Dreamers Ministries. I'm Dawn Jordan. Thank you for being here and thank you for taking the time to watch these little devotions that we bring to you every morning. This week, we have been focusing on chap uh, 1 Timothy chapter number 4, verses 12 through 16, and we've been looking at the very simple subject of what should I be? And we're going to end with uh, verse number 16. We started the work the week with um, being an example. And then we've uh, stepped through a few things to be. Today we're going to finish with be selfish. You may be like, what? Excuse me? Let me read verse 16 to you. The Bible says, Take heed unto thyself, unto the doctrine, continue in them. For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Be selfish as in keep yourself clean. Keep your own yard clean. Keep yourself. You know, the Bible uses that phrase a few times. In Proverbs 4.23, it says, Keep thy heart with all diligence. In Jude 21, it says, Keep thyself in the love of God. Keeping ourself is a full-time job. You know, if you work on keeping your own yard clean, <clears throat> excuse me, you won't have time to worry about everybody else's yard. If you worry enough about keeping yourself in the love of God and keeping your heart with all diligence, you won't have time to keep up with everybody else. It'll keep you out of a lot of trouble. And the Bible, um, 1 Timothy 4, 16 ends with, it'll both save yourself and those that hear thee. You know, there's something to be said by leading by example, is where, which is what we started with in verse number 12 for this week. Leading by example, keeping yourself clean, helping those, helping those around you keep their yard clean, and keeping that heart with all diligence. Um, pay attention to the doctrine that you're learning. Use it. Keep thyself in the place you should be, and watch you grow, 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 and those around you. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and continue to meditate on God's word. And thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate y'all being here. Have a great weekend. Talk to you later. God bless.